tell yourself and all our friends I was wrong and you were right But your sins that happened in the dark Will come out in the light I'm not gonna waste my breath I won't put up a fight Cause the days are gonna whisper And the months are gonna talk Until the years shall out the truth Time will tell When a train whistles far away And when the cold wind blows When the lightning in your eyes reveals The darkness in your soul The world will be reminded of What it already knows Cause the days are gonna whisper And the months are gonna talk Until the gears shall Time will tell, time will tell on you No one may ever say a thing But surely as the seasons change You feel like everything points at you Cause you're to blame and the days are gonna whisper And the months are gonna talk Until the years shall out the truth and time will tell Time will tell on you It's gonna tell on you A very special thank you to Brandon Maddox. Check him out on YouTube Music. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to A Love 11 Tarot. And if you're returning, welcome home, my beautiful A Love 11 family. I was going to say this reading is about James Brenner and Dylan Rounds. And here we have the Ten of Swords. So obviously something was a total betrayal and came to a close. And um, trigger warning for those of you that could be offended or upset by anything on speculation or theory or tarot reading in the Dylan Rounds case. This body is wrapped. I will meet you over there, my love. A fun way to show your support of our channel is to simply check out www.1111moon.com. Lots of beautiful items, all with the intent for your highest good. And it makes wonderful gifts. There may be something special for you. I invite you to check it out personally. Let's go ahead, get started. We're going to clear our energy with the frequency of this ringing little singing bowl. And with that, I invite you to tune into this frequency of truth. I ask that our angels above to the utmost high God give us the strength and the clarity to do this reading with the intent of the highest good for Dylan Rounds. Thank you. We are going to do um, a little pendulum reading later, as we are called to do so. So stay tuned for that. Let me understand after that Ten of Swords. I want to understand James Brenner and his energy with Dylan. So I have the Page of Pentacle in reverse. This is somebody that's young, um, like Dylan, 
that has a little money in their pocket or assets because they have that pentacle. They're on a new start, and then I have it in reverse. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Does James Brenner have anything to do with the disappearance of Dylan Rounds? James Brenner have anything to do with the disappearance of Dylan Rounds? We have the Queen of Sword. You can see that that's like Lady Justice. It stands for the truth. This is somebody that wields the sword of truth, Queen of Swords, logic, um, analytical thinking. She has a bouquet of flowers drifted down and the sword is up. So there's some truth that's going to be shared and backed up, possibly legally. The Fool. Remember this new beginning. This person is showing off their new beginning. They've got their little top hat and they're standing on the chair and oh, they're standing on a what appears to be a trophy. And they're standing in front of the moon, something that signifies secrets followed by the sun. So I'm seeing this moon going to the sun. Secret knowledge of what happened for sure is what I'm picking up. Sun is about the clarity, the queen of swords, the fool. So it's very possible that law went, okay, so James Brenner, who is James Brenner? James Brenner is a family friend allegedly, of Dylan Rounds. He was squatting in a trailer on land that was Don H's, also a family friend of Dylan's. Don had been fired or released, no longer working for Dylan, like I think it was a couple weeks to a month before. James Brenner is squatting in a trailer with guns. Um... So there's a discrepancy here whether it was before or after Dylan went missing. If you know, please comment below. But James Brenner went to Don H. And um, asked him to hold these guns. And then he was inspected. They didn't find anything. Don H turns in the guns. And come to find out that James Brenner is now there's an arrest warrant. I don't know if he's been in custody or not over weapons. He is a felon and can't have the, the um, weapons, so a weapons charge. So does he have something to do with Dylan? Rounds being missing. All right, let's continue. Okay, so at this point, sorry about that, y'all. I was just so in meditation of the case. I forgot to bring you up to speed. So those of you already know that, please forgive me. Um, just jump ahead where you need. Okay, here we go. This, oh my gosh. I tipped the deck like this and my finger didn't catch it. Three-fourths of the, well, half the deck hit the floor. So just give me a minute to understand this. We only have a couple that are turned down, so we're going to grab those. And we'll put those in the north node right there and see what that's about at the end of the read. I was meditating on the case, and I very rarely use a stick deck. Wow, that was really a bad slip up. Where did that come from? So this deck is called The Field, and I thought it was quite fitting for Dylan, as he is the farmer. Here we go. I want to understand what James Brenner has to do with Dylan. We have this Page of Pentacles in reverse. Did he take action to make Dylan disappear. Is he involved? Is James Brenner involved? 
with the disappearance of Dylan Rounds. Okay, did you see that flip all the way around and we caught it? The deck is in reverse. So, Mother of Cups, Hierophant, and Daughter of Wands with the Snake. Okay, let's take a little gander at this. So, we have someone committed holding the key. And it's a Death Crow holding the key. So, James is going to be in incremental. Very important. He has some sort of knowledge because lightning is power. Power is knowledge. He has some sort of knowledge about the key to the case. Possibly death. A message of death, if you will. <coughs> My throat chakra is clear. Closing up. <coughs> One moment. Okay. Interesting. I have the Mother of Cups and the Daughter of Wands. So this is... Swans mate for life, but this is a solo swan, and it's about emotions. And I'm getting a mother. And then I'm getting the daughter of wands, a snake in the family. With a commitment to family. Being a snake to family. Okay, thank you. Daughter of Wands. There's a commitment to the Mother of Cups and the Daughter of Wands. He's a snake in the grass, and there's possibly a snake in the family. We're going to have to clarify to understand, but I'm getting a very bizarre communication there. Let me understand this. Mother of Cups and Daughter of Wands and this commitment. Who is this Mother of Cups and Daughter of Wands? Communication from somebody that he committed to. Who did James Brenner commit to? Ace of Swords. Clarity. And the Eight of Swords trying to stop the new beginning. The Clarity also has the snake wrapped around the sword. And then you can see this is going to be a new beginning with this monarch energy. But look at all these swords that are ready to destroy it. Just cut it up, right? A mental imprisonment. He's tied somehow to the family, not just family, friends, but to this event. He's tied to this event. The son, the queen of swords, analytical, wanting a new beginning. The son, the queen of swords. Let me understand that. Osho Zen Tarot for the tarot deck, y'all. Sun. This is Dylan as the sun with the new beginning, the fool. What is this queen of swords? What is this queen of swords that cut the sun out, please? Who is this? What is this energy of this queen of swords cutting the sun out? Thank you. Huh. Someone in that family turned against Dylan. That's the breakthrough. And they give, there's ill advice, ill advice 
not out for the highest good. And I don't usually take Oso, Osho Zentero in reverse, but Guidance 3 I am because I've been seeing threes, threes, threes. This is a three. It came in reverse. I'm so keeping it. It's like somebody turned against Dylan in the family. And then this James Brenner was used. Hmm. Could have been a family friend that, that he was. Who is this? Explain to me who the second energy is that has somehow involved James Brenner with Dylan. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Okay, we do have some eclipses coming up. I'm not sure of the dates. I should actually keep them posted. There's going to be a heavy new change in the case, something unseen at this time. It's not being rebuilt at this time, but there is some major, major change. So let's get back into this. What is this energy associated between the two, James and Dylan? Nothing will come of this situation void of moon. I'm getting a really weird energy. All right, you guys. So nothing will come of this situation void. Of course, moon tells me somebody's going in the wrong direction. Is it me? Who is this queen? Is it not family, but somebody that's thought of as family? Who is this mother, daughter? Show me mother, daughter energy in the cards associated with James Brenner. Yep, I need to go a different direction. So not Dylan's family, perhaps. But James Brenner's family, or a family friend of Dylan's. We have the hangman change perspective, and that is the Queen of Swords again. She keeps coming up. So we have the Queen of Swords here with the Fool and Dylan, the Sun. And now we've got it about a new perspective about this Queen of Swords. Somebody that appears to be very fact-based. That's how they appear. We're going to get a whole new perspective of them. Possibly a female. Doesn't have to be. Hidden secret about this. A hidden secret about this connection. Who is this Queen of Swords connected to James Brenner? Queen of Swords. Could be Law. Show me this Queen of Swords, please. And its own energy. Travel. Queen of Swords is traveling to calmer grounds. Full card on the bottom of the deck. The Queen is trying to calm. Took travel. The Queen traveled to meet this Knight of Cups. Who took him to the King of Cups, who was all in his head. This could simply be where D.H. Dawn turns in James, going to the Queen of Sword. Law. All right, so... Let's see what this powerful change is. We're looking at the emotional trial and error. What's coming up next? What is coming up next? A tower moment. So there is this powerful change because we get that tower. So it's something quite shocking is about to be revealed. And we get the world a closed cycle. Something is done and over. And it's shocking. What is this that closes? What is this tower moment, please? Whatever it is, it's going to leave us 
wide awake, worried in our head, and it's about his past. Something moving in our favor, movement, yes, but it's about the past, the wheel. Who was driving that day? It's about somebody that was driving that day. Six of Wands. Showboating. Victory is the growth. What is this about? Single energy. Flaunting. Okay. Flaunting single energy. What is this about? Wanting that. Oh. New beginning. Talking about his new beginning. Okay, so Dylan was showboating. All right. So then what happened? Introspection. Inebriation. Talking too much. Overindulgent. About wishes coming true. Um, talking, letting everybody know of your abundance. Nine of cups. My wish came true. Look how cool I am. You know. <clears throat> can be seen as pulling up to the bar. And we know that the Saddle Sword Bar was the last place that Dylan's credit card was used. Let me understand this boastful energy, please. What happened? Was James involved with this Dylan and this boastful energy? Two of coin. Overindulging in a different way. Trying to handle too much. Then I have the justice in reverse. With regret on the bottom. So we have a lack of justice. Somebody did an illegal act that was out of balance. That is what closed the cycle. Number one, they overpowered Dylan. Strength card. They overpowered him with strength physically. It was about even give and take. Somebody felt like they wanted their pot of gold. It was about money. Show with me. King of Sword. Somebody not talking. Somebody that um, felt that they were going to set this straight. Felt that they had the right to do so. Felt they were owed something. In cleansing, show me this situation with Dylan. Where is Dylan Rounds? Where is Dylan Rounds? Queen of Pentacle and the Three of Pentacle. It has to do with possibly female energies. A landowner that that James Brenner would have worked with. Some a landowner, mother, daughter might own the land, possibly. I'm just going with what I'm feeling. So mother, daughter might own the land with. James or James there's a mother daughter involved there are three energies involved with James and it's got this mother daughter energy because I got the queen of pentacle oh mother of cups queen of pentacle female this is the the and then the daughter and then here I've got the daughter and here I have the mother. So I'm saying I feel seriously that there is something to do with two females attached to James Brenner. All right, renewal. Show me what this means. Is Dylan on the land of this mother-daughter? Five of Pentacles. Conflict. A lot of conflict surrounds this property, possibly. What conflict? Ten of Cups. It's about the family property 
see the land, see the plantation like land. And the seeds planted. They're farmers. They have some sort of farmland around there. Seeds planted. Seven of seeds. This is somebody of the home that James Brenner may have had difficulty with this daughter and the mother, but that's the land I'm getting associated with. That's where the evidence lies. At least knowledge of this lover's could be a lover of this James Brenner. A lover. Uh-huh. King of Pentacles and Seven of Wands. Defending your, your world. Defending your self. Trying to keep what you've got left. King of Pentacles, somebody owns land. With the Queen of Pentacles. They may have been married and then divorced. Or they could still be married. Are these two individuals married? Here, they're married. Who is James Brenner's wife? Ex-wife? Whatever. They've been married. Sorry. Married. That is that where is that where Dylan is? Emperor. It's a clue. It's definitely a clue. Find out who James Brenner's ex is or who the female is that has land. He must own land. Knight of Pentacle. Interesting. Let me understand this page of Pentacle in reverse. I fear this is Dylan. Yeah, I got that page again. Page of Swords. Somebody was watching him. Was he on the phone? Two of Swords. They made the decision. They may have given him a decision. And they had plans based on that decision. Was Dylan given an ultimatum? Or else? Okay, cards are already up. It, this person's trying to steal from Dylan. They are a liar, cheater, thief about this financial money. They are trying to steal, steal from Dylan. That's what this was about. Was stealing from Dylan. And they're a liar, cheater, thief, this James. He was stealing from him. The star, Aquarius, energy, healing. <sighs> Knowledge can be healing. It can also hurt very much. But I do believe that there is a clue on the land that James Brenner's name will be attached to. He must own land. I see farming. I see an ex-wife, if not a wife. I see a daughter. Three of Wands, strategic, planned. And look, the fates. Three fates wrapped up in this. Three fates with the Empress. That is the female. Oh, my God. I have the Emperor and the Empress. And... Four of Cups. That means there's separation between the Emperor and the Empress. This is a divine mated pair that are in separation. The Emperor is a controller. The Empress is not. There is something being overlooked and ignored that has to do with fate. That is strategy. Has to do with his home. of, And it's not where he's squatting. It's property owned. Farm land is what I am getting firmly. All right, let's go ahead, get into the pendulum read part and understand a little bit more. You know, if I move these two cards, I feel like you can see it better. Darker background with the whiter crystal. Deep breath and relax. Please show me a hard yes. Confirm yes with the pendulum for an answer. So it is going north and south for me, which is a nod. And full stop. Please show me a confirmed hard no. 
and as you can see it's starting to swing from the left to the right my shoulder to shoulder that is what we will see for answers and full stop did James Brenner have anything to do with the disappearance of Dylan Rounds? It's just freakily vibrating. Did James Brenner have anything to do with the disappearance of Dylan Rounds? I am getting a maybe kind of in a circle, like there's information that is kind of a yes and kind of a no. So might have knowledge of, okay. Does James Brenner have knowledge of why Dylan Rounds disappeared? I'm getting an ever so slight yes. Some. Hmm. Something's not clear. Full stop, please. Did James Brenner bring harm to Dylan Rounds? I am getting a yes. Full stop. Did James Brenner steal from Dylan Rounds? I'm getting a yes. Let's clear our energy. Is there protection spell put on James Brenner? Okay, I asked and I have a yes because of the Empress card and Emperor. <clears throat> Did James Brenner harm Dylan Rounds? Please show me a firm answer. I have a firm yes. Full stop. Did James Brenner... Re Did James Brenner... Dispose of Dylan Round's body. I get nothing. That has me so perplexed. Okay, we're going to ask a very hard question, y'all. Full stop. Did Jane... Did James Brenner murder Dylan Rounds? I don't get an answer. Does James... Okay, full stop. Does James Brenner know if Dylan Rounds was murdered? I get a slight yes. All right, you guys, that's all we have. It wasn't very uh, informative for me. It was almost like there's an energy blocking the information. So on the pendulum reading, I'm not getting full access to James's energy for some reason. There is almost like a, protect, a protection barrier up on that. Even throughout the read, I could feel like there was a negative energy opposing me gathering information so this is the best i can do 
but I thought it was worth the time. And if it was if worth your time and you feel kindly in, inclined to do so, please tap that like button or share or watch a video to the end and possibly even check us out on 1111moon.com. That is an, a beautiful store. It's an energy store where you can do all kinds of spiritual work if that is your thing, my beautifuls. I thank you humbly much. I hope and pray for justice for Dylan Rounds. And I thank you very much for spending the time to invest your energy in hoping the same thing for Dylan. I love you to the moon and back. God bless you and namaste.